Hi everyone, my name is Kaylee and this is Ruby and we're at the 2018 Mayish Design Stars. Today I'm going to be teaching you how to make a floral color for a dog and Ruby will be modeling it. So guys, we're going to get started with making a floral dog collar. The things you're going to need are clippers, wire, and then floral tape, um, or knife if you prefer knife. And then I'm going to be using sweet peas. Uh, these are Lux sweet peas from Mayesh. I really like using small and delicate blooms. I think it translates into something really beautiful, but you can use whatever you want. And then I'm going to roll out some wire and measure it to my dog's neck. When you're making a dog collar, it's gonna be the same as making a floral head wreath. Um, so you're gonna use the circumference of your head as a measurement, and then you're gonna leave a little bit of length on the end to be able to make a clasp, um, to be able to hook the two ends together when you're finished. Usually I just use my own head, but if you have a model available, it's best to use the model. So I'm going to check this on my dog. Put it around her neck, have just a little bit of extra room at the end. After we've measured the wire, we're going to use floral tape and we're just going to tape down the entire wire. Um, so you're going to just twist at the top, take both fingers, your index, and your thumb, and you're going to twist down tightly, um, pulling the tape as you go. And this should coat the wire completely. After you're done coating the wire entirely with tape, you're going to use some flowers. Um, and I'm gonna use these, I'm gonna try and get the most out of these flowers that I possibly can. So it's a really long stem flower, I'm gonna split it in two. So I'm gonna cut right here. And I'm gonna start by on one side, attaching the flower with the stem, and then using the tape I'm going to use the same technique to attach the flower to the wire, taping. And I'm going to use that same technique all the way down the whole wire. And I'm going to overlap stems just a little bit to make the color look full. Make sure to trim down your stems too because it will get really fat really quick and um, not have the look that you want if you do not. The main reason that I would make a collar for a dog is generally for a wedding. A lot of people like to have their dog, if they do have a dog, um, at the wedding kind of dressed up for the occasion. Or I oftentimes make these kind of crowns, simple crowns for little flower girls. Um, also for bridal parties. Those are kind of the main instances when I would make this kind of a design. You wanna make sure that you're covering the tape entirely so that when you spread it out in a circle around the dog's neck or around the head, um, that you don't see big flower gaps. Okay, and you'll notice as I'm wrapping, I'm wrapping around the crown, so I'm physically moving the crown, um, and I'll show that right here. So I'm taking the tape, placing it, and then I'm physically whipping the crown around. Um, I do that because it's a lot easier. I mean, it looks complicated, but it's a lot easier than trying to move your hand around the crown, um, and I feel like it gets the tightest tape to my flowers to the crown, um, so that's kind of why I do that. So we're kind of getting down to the end here. Um, for this end piece, I'm gonna make this wire here into a loop by just twisting the wire around itself. So 
So here's our circle. And then I'll make this end here into a hook. So the hook and loop should be able to hook themselves like so. So here is our full finished dog collar. Um, as you can see, it's really fluffy. Um, we have the clasp on it. You can, use, you can use the same technique to make any kind of dog collar, um, something more minimalistic with less blooms, or you can make something this full. Um, you could tie a ribbon on it if you like to be able to have it draped down the back of a little girl's head, or you could tie a ribbon on it to have a bow on the front of a dog. Um, whatever you prefer, but this is kind of the main technique behind making a floral dog collar or um, a head wreath for a little girl or anyone. And now we're gonna put it on Ruby. Okay, here's our model, Ruby. And I'm going to put this crown on her just like this. And there you have it. Floral dog collar, modeled by Ruby. Thanks guys.